teachers who ended up working at schools that you attended as a student, what behind the scenes secrets, dirt, or teachers lounge gossip did you learn that you were clueless of as a student? That they have a secret basement. All the staff hated the deputy principal as much as the students did, if not more. The biggest surprise for me was that the teacher I adored as a kid is actually a douche. I loved him as a teacher when I was 14 years old, but I can't stand him as a colleague. We recently discovered that my girlfriend's teacher, who would occasionally break down crying during class when the kids were being particularly childlike, was dealing with cancer during that time. Marriages and divorces, depressions, cancers, all of that it's about the teachers that you sometimes suspected but never really knew for sure. Also, teachers can be ruthless when talking about kids, but it's funny as hell. Drinking wine with some of my former teachers was ducking weird but 100% would recommend. Mrs. X, who was always the jerk AP English teacher, she hated the more inappropriate parts of our AP English books. Turns her husband cheated on her and she was in the middle of an unpleasant divorce. No wonder she couldn't stand N6 in famous literature. I'm not sorry for feeling she was a jerk. But, boy, did it make a lot more sense. My third grade teacher was killed when her car got her stuck on the train tracks. Her husband was the principal. After I found out through parents that every was starting to suspect that the principal was seeing one of the teacher's aides. It was one of those uncomfortable things where a lot of the moms were after him because he was single and so they were incredibly jealous and petty towards this particular aide. Years later, I found out the principal and this aide got married. Years after that when they were both gone, I started working with my old elementary school. And that's when I found out the truth. That the aide and principal had started having an affair back when my third grade teacher was still alive. She found out about their affair and her death was not an accident. She was actually on the phone with the aide when she purposely drove her car onto the train tracks and killed herself. I found out the school I work at has a decommissioned shooting range in the basement. I work at the school my kids attended. So if it counts, I'll answer. A lot of teachers smoke pot regularly. It's still illegal here, though, comma. I work in IT at my old school district. All the teachers are just as immature as the students they teach, and most of the nicer teachers turn out to be decent horrible to work with. Also, everything is political and clicky. My mom did her student teaching at the Catholic high school she attended. She didn't know that. While she'd been away at university, one of her favorite teaching nuns had left the order and gotten married. She almost had a heart attack when she recognized Sister Mary Irony in the halls one day and realized she had a solid 7 month pregnant belly. Not a teacher, but my mom is a teacher at a school I went to and I still learned a few things. Two things come to mind. The kinda reserved science teacher has full sleeve tattoos. That was a bit of a surprise. Every year the school does a raffle with a bunch of cool little items in it. I found out recently that it's rigged to go to a poor student. I mean, I'm not complaining, but I always really wanted to win it. I was shocked when I found this out. Not a teacher but when I was in high school a female student's nude had been discovered on a flash drive that a male teacher gave to students if they didn't have a flash drive so they could work on projects at home if necessary. Obviously an investigation went underway and it was found that another student had put the nude on the flash drive. But amidst all the chaos and rampant rumors it was discovered that the male teacher was having an affair with one of the social studies female teachers, who was also married. Male teacher is still currently with his wife while the female SS teacher divorced her husband thinking that male teacher was leaving his wife for her, ducking spicy as a 17 year old lol. I interned at my old elementary school and subbed at the high school. Honestly wasn't as wild and debaucherous as some folks wish it to be. Biggest revelations. My old music teacher would fall asleep during after school meetings and professional development with regularity. Sweet fourth grade teacher actually took no crap during after school meetings if someone was trying to push policy or curriculum that made no sense. High school teachers would gossip in teachers lounge about students. Though generally only occasionally in passing. And not always scandalous gossip. Just generally more aware of each student's social life than I'd have ever imagined they'd be. An example would be something like. How's Steve been today? 
turned in his homework but it was incomplete. Didn't really participate today. Heard he and Kristen weren't really talking anymore. Yeah. Seems to be going through a rough time now but I think he's going to be better off in the long run. In hindsight it was weird to consider that these folks were likely talking about me and my personal life in various regards a few years prior. Always assumed my life in school was relatively insular. But teachers see a lot more than we think. You should hear the way teacher talk about students. They are brutally honest in teachers meeting. Alex students we'd pass just BC because we don't want to deal with them anymore. Or because their failure would hurt funding and we were pressured to overlook failure of certain students. My friend and I both did taught at our former high school. He came up to me in the faculty office one morning and said did you know some of the teachers think I went to us a blow job parties when I was on the football team? What's a blow job party? I wish I was going to those. To this day we don't know where they got this idea. Or what a blow job party is. I was a private school teacher at a school I attended as a student. The school had no infrastructure for special education or IEP students. They basically told parents they could send students there but they're not getting any additional accommodations. I never connected or understood this as a kid but every time we'd get a different student. They rarely lasted more than a year. I didn't end up working at my old school. But I did run into my old guidance counselor, who had since moved districts, at a conference. I was mentioning the teachers I had had, and that the photography teacher always creeped me out. He confirmed that said teacher had been quietly fired for sleeping with students. And this was at a school where my AP history teacher was actually married to a former student. Nothing to see here. My school had an old lunch room. An entire portion of the building that was only accessible through two doors. I cannot say with certainty that this is true but rumor has it several teachers ended up turning that room into a suitable living area and slept there for a few months. I didn't think it was that crazy until I remembered at least two of those teachers had a history of drug use. LSD. MDMA and sugar. What went on in that old lunch room is anyone's guess. Not a teacher. But I was an IT technician at my high school about 6 years after I graduated. The staff at the school all share stories about students among each other. So they all knew who was good or bad. They knew who was dating who. They knew all the friend groups. They knew about students social lives. This isn't stuff they'd ever be told directly. Just observations. I swear. They knew more about the class than I ever would have as a student as part of the class. Also. As someone else said, it's actually kind of fun to have a beer or drink with your old teachers. Sometimes the ones you become friends with aren't the ones you ever would have thought would be the case when you were in school. I was a terrible math student but always pulled A's in geometry. Turns out my mom had been sucking off MR. Davis. My teacher. I work at the school I attended. Nothing weird. But drinking hanging out with your former teachers and principals is kinda cool honestly. I wasn't a teacher, but part of school management. The school has a door with a sign saying, Open pit. If you open the door and walk forward, you'll fall into a pit. I work at the private high school I went to and the way the principal talk talks about past students was disgusting. She'd make fun of kids. Talking about how they weren't popular. Didn't have friends. Stuff like that. Also, the boys club thing is rampant. Women do all the work while their male superiors take all the credit. A ton of coaches drank drink with students and don't get in trouble at all. The year after I graduated, four teachers were suspended from teaching for a few months. Including the psych teacher who was one of my favorites. The school didn't really announce why. Just that they would be suspended. They came back to teaching there later when the suspension was up. When I started subbing there a few years later, I found out that they had been bullying another teacher for being gay. I lost a lot of respect for my psych teacher after I learned that. Not me but one of my best friends. We attended high school together and she eventually ended up teaching in that school. My friend was asked who was the valedictorian in our batch. She mentioned girl A. The teacher can't remember her. So my friend said she's not into extracurricular that much so you might not remember her. But you may remember our top 2 inches then mentioned the name our of batches top 2. To which the teacher blurted out oh yeah I remember her. That itch and her mother. 
together with your advisor harassed me to change her grades so she can make it top one. Not the same school, but an old teacher. Whilst in year 10, my language teacher and a pay teacher were having a secret relationship despite everyone knowing they were both in a relationship with other people. Whilst doing my teacher training at a different school, I saw her briefly in the staff room. Later I caught up with someone else who worked there and said how I knew her. Found out that she actually married this pay teacher a couple of years before and was having an affair with another pay teacher in that school. Fast forward to going into my third of teaching. At the interview for the school I currently work at. Speaking to another guy at the interview and he told me which school he was leaving and it was my old secondary school. I asked him if he knew my old language teacher and the gossip of her and he said he knew they weren't together anymore. The day goes on. I just finish having a tour of the school. Walk into the staff. And there she was. Sat there on her laptop. Turns out she had also recently been employed there. Some pay teachers came in. Also on their interview and and she made a beeline for the young male who was clearly about to start teaching. She clearly has a type. Didn't go back as a teacher but learnt from another teacher who I met in the pub that my year 9 chemistry teacher is a less interesting Walter White. I can't go into too much detail, but one teacher in particular has a substance abuse problem and had drawers full of narcotics they do at school. I always thought he was a doucher bag but students think he's cool. He's not. He hangs out with students. He's like in his 50s hanging out with 20 year olds. He still lives with his parents. And is single. Not a teacher at my old school. But I did find out over a decade later that there was a secret shelter under the school property that you could access through a creepy ass tunnel under the stage in the theater. It was set up like a little lounge and only the most artsy of students ever got to go in there. Also my history law teacher took pretty much every female teacher in that school to pound town. A bit separate but I had a teacher once that was awful if you ran into her in the hallways. She seemed super authoritarian and awful. I got placed in her math class the last year and I was really nervous. Turns out she was one of the best teachers I've ever had and super understanding. She once said she wanted people to think she was a hard ass when they come into her class so they would take it seriously. I'm a student teacher, but not at the school I attended. However, I am teaching in an area that I am very familiar with. I find out a lot of sad things about students, stuff like who's on suicide watch, and who is a 504 slash IEP. I also find out who all the teachers hate and their team. I never really paid attention to any of that when I was in school, and I lived in a privileged area. This experience is seriously eye-opening. Also. I learn that a lot of teachers don't follow the law when it comes to grades and deadlines. Adults aren't very different from children. After college, UK, I spent a year as a teacher assistant in the primary school I used to go to when I was little. Most of the teachers were still there from when I was at school and all of the dinner ladies still worked there too. The dinner ladies were still as sweet and kind as I remember and made me feel so welcome as a member of staff. The teacher I hated when I was at school was actually incredibly competent and encouraged me to use my IT skills to improve her classroom activities and got me to start up a lunchtime club where we did basic typing and computing skills. The flip side is that they all drank heavily outside of school. Staff evenings out were a hilarious mixture of drunken adventures, pub crawls and oversharing. One night, which I didn't attend due to a prior engagement, they all went skinny dipping. I'm quite glad I didn't see that. I supply taught at the school I went to. I regularly supplied for my grade 6 teacher. What I learned is that some of the teachers are so rude. I was in the staff room eating my lunch when the French teacher came in. Looked at me and asked. Are you the supply that was in for me on Friday? I said no. She proceeded to make fun of the supply that was actually in for her. Saying that she carried all her papers around to each class instead of using the cart that prep teachers use. Then she said, I mean, I know it was her first supply day, but come on. The cart was right beside my desk. Should have been obvious. Yeesh. So basically a French teacher at my old school was making fun of a poor girl for not knowing that she could use the cart instead of carrying all her supplies around. On her very first day as a supply teacher, being a supply is tough. On my first supply day, I didn't know how to do the attendance and the office called me wondering where it was. I had to get the kids to help me. 
Go easy on people who are still learning please I uh. My fourth grade teacher was being abused by her husband. Not only that. She was his fourth wife. The first one had divorced him. Twice next two disappeared. The husband is on death row for my teacher's murder. Not a teacher but I did data entry for my college after I graduated. One of the teachers sometimes acted crazy. In a funny way. I thought he was just tried to be overly funny sometimes but nope. He had a drink at work problem. The owner didn't seem to care. Oh grave a circumflex a diaresis. My kindergarten teacher was from a neighboring community where they go hard for street. Patrick's day. Found out once I worked there that she faked sick halfway through the day every year that street. Patrick's day landed on a weekday so that she could get to the bar before the lines started. It worked too. Because she was usually too hungover the next day to come in. So she looked really sick. IAIA. My English teacher couldn't get pregnant so she had to do a lot of IVF to get pregnant with her husband. She was secretly having an affair with another English teacher. One student who she was close to told my best friend. When the English teacher told me if I could get her phone from the classroom since we were in the library. I saw a text from said English teacher saying some explicit things to her lol. No one else knew and I didn't tell anyone about it. Not my business. Especially as a teenager. Oh, this is a good one. I realized that my first grade teacher, who I adored, was the butt of all the other teachers jokes, and that our principal, who I also adored, was actively trying to get her fired. You see the other end of the environment. Burnout. Negativity. Factions and cliques. IDK. You kind of assume as an elementary school student that your teachers that preach kindness, cooperation, etc. Also do that with the people around them. But I've learned that sometimes. Teachers are worse than the kids. Not a teacher. But. Well. I discovered it accidentally. In my high school. In France. Teachers have a something like a betting hall with a student scoreboard. Teachers bet some money for which students get the baccalaureate or not. Years later. An old teacher of mine confirmed when I worked here as a tutor. Then they continue to bet. They add some news games about that, but he was evasive. The year I passed this exam, it was a hard year, lot of urban riots for BS reasons, and the CRS Republican security companies were constantly here to prevent any new violence. The baccalaureate here get a failure rate around 72% and the teacher told me it was a good surprise then I managed to get it where mention. He also told me because I succeed, I make him lose 25 euros. Edit, I speak about the riots of 2005.